Hi, everyone. Welcome to Rico's Reading Room. Today, I'm going to read a book about one of the world's greatest artists in the 20th century. I know you'll love it. Pablo Picasso, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vigara, illustrated by Teresa Belon. In the sunny city of Malaga, Spain, lived a little boy called Pablo. He could draw before he even learned how to talk. Instead of mom or dad, his first word was lapis, which means pencil in Spanish. Don Jose, his father, was an art teacher. He taught his son how to use oil paints. Pablo was just nine when he completed his first painting. A man riding a horse in a bullfight. He was only a kid, but was already a better artist than his dad. Whoa! His father took him to Madrid to visit its most famous museum, El Prado. Pablo hoped. That his paintings would one day be hanging on the walls, next to the work of great Spanish masters like Goya or Velázquez. He attended a well-known art school in Barcelona, and soon he mastered almost every known style. Still, Pablo didn't want to paint like grown-ups did hundreds of years ago. He wanted to show the world his own way. Pablo's first solo exhibition was held in a cafe called the Four Cats, a place where painters and poets would hang out. There, he met his friend Carlos. They were very different, but instantly they became buddies. Soon, they were sharing a tiny studio. When he visited Paris, the center of the art scene, Pablo knew it was the perfect place to settle. But the world wasn't ready for it. His style and making a living as an artist was hard. Sometimes he burned his own paintings to keep his room warm. One day, he got terrible news. His dear Carlos had died. For a long time, Pablo would only use the color blue in his paintings. It was his way of letting everyone know how sad and lonely he felt after the loss of his friend. But luckily, sadness never lasts forever, and after two long years of feeling blue. Pablo's paintings were filled with color again. He used red, pink, and orange to paint the clowns, dancers, and acrobats he saw at the circus and cabarets. With a friend and artist called Georges, he created a whole new style: cubism. He painted one thing from many different angles and put it all together in the same picture. The result was as playful as a little kid's drawing. The day Georges brought a roll of wallpaper to their studio, Pablo couldn't wait to start experimenting with it. He cut up pieces of it and pasted them onto his painting. It was their first time collage while it's used in a work of art. Pablo was a well-known artist when war broke out in Spain. He created a huge black and white painting that showed the bombing of a town called Gornica. It was the most moving anti-war painting the world had ever seen. For him, one idea could be expressed in lots of ways. 
He kept exploring different styles, materials, and techniques all his life. Pablo created so many paintings and sculptures that his art could fill a whole museum. And even though it took him just four years to paint like a master, little Pablo never stopped trying to paint like a child. Because all children are artists. We just need to keep believing it once we grow up. D N. Thanks so much for listening to my reading. Did you like it? I hope you did. Please click the subscribe button and see you next time.